This video is a tutorial on the use of the extrude feature on Fusion 360. So this feature allows you to add depth to an enclosed sketch profile or face. So in other words, it allows you to drag a 2D shape out into a 3D shape. To start, click on the drop down menu and select extrude, or you can press E for the keyboard shortcut. A panel will now appear that allows you to decide on the aspects and dimensions of the extrude you are creating. Initially select the profile you wish to add depth to. Once you have done this you can click and drag the arrow to change the depth. You can also do the same with the dial to change the taper angle. Or you can do this by typing in the value into the text boxes that appear or in the extrude panel to give it a more specific value. Another aspect you can change is the star point of the extrusion, including the profile you have selected or an offset, which allows you to create the extrusion at distance away from the profile you have selected. The value of this can be changed in the extrusion panel. And finally, object, which will start the extrusion from the face that is selected. The direction can also be changed. One side will create an extrusion coming from only one side of the selected profile. Two sides which allows for extrusion from either side of the profile which can be at different lengths. And also symmetric which creates an equal extrusion from both sides of the profile. Extend type will alter how the depth of the extrusion is defined. Distance will create an extrusion with the distance you define. All which will create an extrusion through all visible bodies along its path. And two object which defines the depth to be up to another object. When this is selected you will be prompted to choose the body to extrude to. Once this has been selected you can choose to extrude it to a body or face. Which will extend up to the edges of that body. Or through body which will push it through to the distant edge of that body. For this I'm going to set a distance of 100mm. Then the final aspect to select is the operation type. As this is a separate body I'm going to select new body. Another extrude type that has been more recently added to Fusion but is still worth being able to utilise is thin extrude. To start, press E on your keyboard to access the extrude feature. Then at the top of the panel, change the type to thin extrude. You can then define the extrusion in the same way as previously shown. However, at this time the extrusion will be shelled out, meaning you can define a wall thickness in the extrusion panel, as well as the wall location. Inside is the default, which creates a wall within the profile. Outside which creates the wall on the edge of the profile or finally center which aligns the center of the wall with the profile edges. As you can now see an extrusion has been made that is hollowed out based on a defined wall thickness. 